name is Star. You're in the MCU. You're a superhero. I know. It hasn't hit me yet. It has not hit me yet. My wife says that to me. Hey, mister, you're in the MCU. I'm like, ah! She said, hey, my superhero. Uh, she's, she, I think it's hit her more than it's hit me because I, I'm still deer in headlights. Is that because you're wearing the outfit at home? I wish. I wish. They keep it. Oh, come on. You must have taken something, though. Anything. They wouldn't let me take anything. There was a watch I had my eye on. I worked for six months to try and keep it. I don't have it. So we through the build up to this. Was there a lot of working out? Was that I mean how did you get yourself ready for that? Yeah, you know, I wanted the character to look a specific way, so I did work on that. And then, you know, there are so many he's a big movie star, so I watched a lot of like uh, I grew up watching Bollywood movies, so I knew that world, but I looked up interviews with huge Bollywood movie stars to see how they conduct themselves, how they move through the world, how they talk to people. And then I watched movies of um, like old school movie stars like uh, Errol Flynn, um, uh, Paul Newman, Robert Redford, Tom Cruise, Denzel Washington, Will Smith. I was like, well, the biggest movie stars in the biggest movie star movies, what is it that they carry film to film? What can this guy have that would sell him as a movie star? But it wasn't arrogance, it was like a real loving to what I just loved it. That's right. How do Thank you feel you. about a camera following you around? Do you quite fancy it? Depends on who's behind the camera. I like Harish, you know, Karun. He's great, he's documenting me. I don't want people catching me at my worst moments though. <laughs> and what about like now? Are you getting used to all this? This is like, this is unbelievable. It's kind of like your actual character. People are following you around, taking photos of you everywhere. Yeah, you don't get used to it. It's weird to have people like screaming your name because screaming your name in adoration or anger doesn't sound that different. So I'm always like a little scared. And if you weren't in the film, whose name would you be screaming tonight on this kind of cast? Uh, I mean, listen, Angelina Jolie. Is I mean, she's amazing, right? She's an icon, Selma Hayek. I mean, these are people who I'm a huge fan of and they've done so much fantastic work. And if you were going to go back to a time where you could influence the time, well, when would you go back to? I had a pretty good 2014. 2015, no, not 2015, 2014. Oh, it was great. I just bought a nice little house, my wife and I. You know, it was a nice time. I thought you were going to say something about like the Aztecs, you know, right back yeah. to the pyramids. Yeah, no, 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 seven <laughs> years ago. Oh, I had less grey hair. Things were perfect. <laughs> and you're here with your wife in London? Yes. Uh, what's happening in London? Are you doing anything else? Are you gonna, you've got time? Uh, it's a lot of press, unfortunately, but we are trying to go to some of our favorite restaurants that we, you know, we were here for six months, fell in love with the city, went all over the place. So we made some friends here, and tomorrow night, after the screening, uh, going with some of our local, we, we made friends with some uh, British comedians and we're going to go have a nice dinner with casual. them. Casual. Yeah. Really casual. Yeah. And how does life now, since you've become a superhero, how, what, how has it changed? It hasn't really changed except for this. I guess this is a big change. But you know, the movie's not out yet. So it's, I feel the same. <laughs> you got this all to come. Uh, <laughs> You were amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Really That's very kind it. of you to thank say. You so thank you. Enjoy your dinner with your comedians. I cannot wait.